Hi, I'm Roger Faulkner, a chemical engineer and a polymer scientist and an inventor. I have ALS. I've been living in a wheelchair, and that's why I call my websites Living in a Wheelchair. <laughs> One of my inventions fairly recently I call the shared manifold ventilator. Uh, and the short form of this is it's an industrial scale device that would allow ventilation of a hundred patients at once. But there's only, you know, one oxygen pressure manifold, one air pressure manifold, and one exhaust manifold. Each of the patients are linked to the manifolds through solenoid valves, and by controlling the timing of those solenoid valves, you can create individualized breathing cycles for each patient. The one thing you can't do is change pressures willy-nilly for each patient. Although if you add a pressure sensor, you can also use the solenoid valve timing to regulate the pressures um, for the patients. But in any case, the air inlet and the oxygen inlet manifolds would be set for a low inspiratory pressure probably between 20 and 30 centimeters of water, which is between 2% to 3% of one atmosphere. In this design, there are three separate manifolds. There is the oxygen manifold, the air manifold. Both of those would be set to the same pressure, somewhere between 20 and 30 centimeters of water pressure. And then patient's exhalation would be into an exhaust manifold, which would in most cases, be set to a slight positive pressure on the order of, say, two to four centimeters of water pressure. That little bit of residual pressure helps to keep the lungs from collapsing. And then, of course, the exhaust air would go through HEPA filters before it goes to the environment. And there's a bit more detail I'm not going to get into right now. I'd like to say the shared manifold project is an economically feasible way to potentially save millions of lives. There are numerous ventilator development projects ongoing, but this one takes care of multiple patients at once. Therefore, it greatly reduces the, the investment in many of the controls. You know, you have just one manifold to control, but then 100 patients feed off that manifold. So it's, it's applying my industrial point of view to this problem.